Today is Michael Stanley Day in Cleveland, marking what would have been the late rocker's 73rd birthday. Stanley died earlier this month on March 5th, breaking the hearts of family, friends, and so many fans. But today, as Brandon Simmons shows us, they all had a chance to show their love for Michael Stanley. This town was indeed his town. Michael Stanley stealing the hearts of Clevelanders and fans around the country for nearly five decades. His passing earlier this month, a heavy loss. And the outpouring of love and support from this city has been absolutely amazing. But today is a day of celebration. One of his daughters addressing a crowd of hundreds outside the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on what would have been Stanley's 73rd birthday, officially declared Michael Stanley Day. Today is about grabbing those moments, those memories, sharing them with each other, and there's a strength in doing that together. Inside and outside the Rock Hall, fans relived the 50-year legacy Stanley left behind, visiting a special exhibit inside and leaving behind special messages of how Stanley impacted their lives. He was a true down-to-earth guy. It's me and my four sisters were raised with him. It's all we know is Michael Stanley. At the time that his music started, we were the mistake on the lake. We were the laughing stock of, of the country. Our river burned, our, our city was in shambles. He made us proud again. He was a hell of a performer, and I'll tell you, I don't think you'll ever find a better advocate for Cleveland than Michael. He's the favorite son here. He'll be greatly missed. Stanley made Clevelanders proud, and they were more than willing to show it, selling out hundreds of venues, including the Richfield Coliseum and, of course, Blossom Music Center. His love for music and the heartland helping cement Cleveland as the rock and roll capital of the world. Dad has always given his heart and soul to the city of Cleveland through so many different avenues. And we could not be prouder of the legacy he has left behind for his family, his friends, and his fans. Now earlier today, Michael Stanley's song, My Town, was also played on several radio stations, specifically at 1035. Michael Stanley fans will understand what that reference is about, that time specifically. And Laura, I do want to say it's not over yet. Stanley has another album coming out sometime next month. We'll tell you more about that coming up at 7 o'clock. And I know so many are looking forward to that. Brandon, thank you so much.